Schrodinger's Baby Seal here, and I have something special to share with you today. Square Enix graciously invited me to an exclusive preview event for the upcoming Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake. And let me tell you, this game is absolutely stunning. So let's dive right into what makes this reimagining of the classic RPG a must play for both veterans and newcomers alike. Visually, this remake epitomizes the soulful feel of a classic JRPG with Square Enix's new signature HD 2D graphics, which perfectly blend pixel art with 3D environments. It's vibrant, nostalgic, the worlds feel alive with every town, dungeon, and cave bursting with detail. I had expectations on how this would look thanks to some other entries in Square Enix's HD 2D roster from games like Live Alive and Octopath, uh, but I was still blown away by how well this style translated to this project. For those unfamiliar with the series, Dragon Quest III is the narrative beginning of the Erdrick trilogy. This is where the series really starts to come together as a cohesive narrative and gain its identity. And it makes perfect sense as a starting point. You begin your adventure as the child of the legendary hero Ortega, who failed in his quest to defeat the evil archfiend Baramos. On your 16th birthday, you're summoned by the king of Aliahan and tasked with picking up where your father left off. Along the way, you gather a group of companions and set out on an epic journey to, you guessed it, save the world. We were given assurances that the story would stay intact, although I do expect some quality of life changes to bleed into the narrative itself, but in a positive way. The gameplay is massively improved, although it surprisingly feels the same. It's injected with countless quality of life additions. To have taken the classic turn-based battle system and refined it with modern features, you'll see new animations, adjustable battle speeds, and even an auto battle setting for those who want a more laid-back experience. I personally experimented a lot with the auto battle to see how flexible and viable it was. I can report that I was able to clear every objective in my playthrough while only manually controlling one character. So how much this game feels like a grind will be entirely up to the player. And that's an excellent choice in my opinion. In the world map? Well, it's fast, immersive, full of rich locations and unexpected encounters. The day and night system returns and its effect on the overall map and environments is downright magical. And let's not forget about the music. Uh, the game score is timeless, uh, captures the essence and magic of the Dragon Quest universe. It's immersive, diverse, uh, making every moment in the game feel special. So whether you're in the heat of battle or exploring a village, music perfectly complements the experience. So, should you be excited for Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake? Well, I think you should. Uh, it's an incredible entry point into a series that has defined a genre. Uh, the blend of nostalgia and modern enhancement makes it a perfect way to experience one of the most influential RPG franchises in gaming history. The Dragon Quest franchise also owes much of its legacy to the late Akira Toriyama, one of the greatest influences on culture in the last century. This game will be available November 14th of 2024. That's right, this year. It'll be available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC via Steam and the Windows Store. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And if you enjoyed this preview, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell for more awesome content. Thanks a bunch, guys.